Welcome, everyone, to the Crest First Interrogation. Sarah Joy Price, welcome to the first The Crest interrogation. We have 21 questions to get to the bottom of who you are to help our church know more. First question, are you ready? As I'll ever be. Here we go. What is your favorite fast food restaurant and meal? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A sandwich meal with a fries, sweet tea, and Chick-fil-A sauce. All right. Number two. What would be the theme song of your life? Ooh. I really don't know. That's a hard one. The one that keeps playing that I keep seeing, this is really sad, is uh, Francesca Battistelli, uh, Dents in My Fender. But I don't think that would be like the actual theme song. I just don't know what it would be. We're going with that one. Yeah, Francesca, we'll no doubt. <laughs> Francesca. All right, number three. What has been your favorite memory this year? Mm. I think I'm going to have to go with uh, probably Treasure Cove. Treasure Cove. All the things the kids say. All the prayer requests that I get. I've had kids pray for light bulbs. I've had kids pray for... Um, everybody in the world to know Christ. So just prayer request and treasure cove. I love it. I love it. All right. Number four, what is the craziest thing you've ever done? I went to Taco Bell in Walmart in the middle of a tropical storm, my freshman year of college, um, second weekend of college. So I really didn't know the people I was with. All right. <laughs> Got to get that Taco Bell. Number I five. Number five, what talents do you possess that not a lot of people know? Mm. I can play the flute a little bit. I haven't done that since like 10th grade, but I can play Eye of the Tiger on the flute. <laughs> Eye of the Tiger. Man, Rocky himself, <laughs> Dothan High School back in the day that I graduated from, our theme song was Eye of the Tiger, Go Tigers. Number six, which TV sitcom would you star in? Friends. Friends. Would there be a specific character in that sitcom you would star as? I would most identify with Monica. Monica. All right. That was the seventh question, so let's move on to the eighth question. In one word, how would your closest friends describe you? Hmm. Probably consistent. Consistent. That's a very positive <laughs> thing. All right. Number nine, what would you rather do? Perform in a circus or in an aquatic dance group? Let's say circus since I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very good reason why not to perform an aquatic dance group. Number 11, what would you like to do before your next birthday? Hmm. Go on vacation. All right. So coming off of that question now about vacation, if there was a millionaire that was willing to pay for any trip for you to take, where would you go? I would go tour Europe and hit up all the historical sites. Very good answer. <laughs> Very good answer. Europe. All right. Next question. I think this is number, what, 13 here. What is the most memorable experience you had when you were a child? 
Mm. I would say my most memorable experience that's coming to mind right now would be when I was seven, I got to go visit the Laura Ingalls Wilder stuff in like Minnesota and Wisconsin. And that was the series I read with my dad. Little House on the Prairie. Yep. I love it. All of the books. (laughs) All right. Going back to a food question now, what food do you dislike the most and why? Hmm. The most? The most. I'm going to go with cream cheese. (laughs) Cream cheese. I understand. (laughs) All right. Next question, number 15. What has been some funny advice someone gave you? Funny advice. I would say... I don't know. I have to think. Maybe we can come back to that question. (laughs) All right, number 16. Here we go. I know that you have a little dog at mm-hmm. home. Now, we're going to go past this little guy, and his name is? Toby James. Toby James. Okay, so past Toby James, what would you name your next pet? Ooh, if it was a boy, I would probably name him Melchizedek. <laughs> Sir Joy. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. All right, here we go. If you were, next question, number 17. If you were a soft drink, what would you be? I would say Sprite. Sprite. Good answer there. I like Sprite. (laughs) Number 18. What is one thing you'd like to cross off your bucket list this year? Oh, this year. I would say... Trying like five new things. Five new things. Not six, but five. Yeah. I love it. Trying five (laughs) new things. All right. Number 19. Let's go here. Number 19. Who is your hero and why? Living or dead. You answer it how you feel like you need to answer it. Hmm. I'm going to say living. I'm going to go with... I'm blanked. (laughs) Uh, Let's see. My living hero. If you hadn't asked me this today, I would have had it. There could be multiple answers to living because I know it might be hard to narrow it down to one. So I would say just like a general concept of a living hero would be a woman who lives for Christ. So like there's lots of living heroes in my life from people in ministry that I look up to, to people who discipled me as a child. So I have lots of heroes, so I can't pick just one. It's That's really hard for me to pick just one. Now, did you have a hero that's not living? I mean, you have all the biblical examples. Um, I've always enjoyed studying the lives of Old Testament women and the things that the Lord used them for. All right. Great answer. (laughs) We are now to number 20, getting close to obviously the last question. Number 20, what do you love the most about serving with preschool kids and children? The growth you get to see. And also, so like the, you get to see so much growth from they start with babbling and then you have them learning scripture and learning all these different things. You just get to watch them grow, but also they say the darndest things <laughs> and you never know what's going to come out of their mouth. You never, it keeps you on your toes. It's, it's just, it's exciting. There's never a dull moment. Love it. Last question. <laughs> 21st question. If you had to evacu- evacuate your house in a quick timing and only could grab five things. What are those five things? Does Toby James count? Yes. Okay, so Toby James, my keys, shoes, my phone. 
See, I have four that I already know (laughs) because I'm prepared. So the fifth thing I would probably say would probably be... Mm. my work bag that's it (laughs) those are the five things yep and you've heard it first here on this 21 question interrogation of sarah joy price thank you sarah joy for sitting down with us today we've clearly got to know uh, know you in a greater way great answers and uh, there's going to be more questions in the days ahead for other people, and you are the first. So be honored, be thankful for that, because we're thankful and honored to have you.